Hey YouTube, what's happening? So, I told you guys that I had a surprise for you. I wanted you to see someone who's here. Um, uh, yeah, sometimes, I, you know what? I'm going to tell you all the story. Me and my friend Michelle, who is Shrek's Girl 22, we are sisters from another mister, for sure. And there's this little thing that we always have this little saying sometimes when it comes to the babies and things like that. And she always says, they're like potato chips. You just can't have one. <laughs> and it does happen that way. Once you get your first reborn, a lot of times you want another reborn. Stuff like that. So, anyway. Um, but this one was kind of a surprise baby for me. And the reason why I say that is because I did not expect to... Um, to get this baby and she is actually going to be fixed by me and I'm going to try my hand at painting and kind of fixing some things so you guys can kind of see this is my silicone little girl her name is Kylia and I want to show you guys her this is her um, she made it here yesterday and she is a full body silicone. Um, and she is a gorgeous baby. She really is cute. She's got some things going on with her. Of course, she does need to be fixed. Um, and I'm not going to show you her girly parts. I will show you her belly. It's her little tummy. But I will not show her little girly stuff. But that's her little belly. You know. And, uh, yeah, she's a full body silicone. But she is a cute little girl. But she does need a lot of work and a lot of TLC. And I'm going to see if I can provide that to her. Um, I've never painted a silicone before, but I'm definitely going to try my hand at it to see how I do. Um, it'll be a nice little summer project for me. Uh, something so that I can kind of try to see what I can do. Um, she does have seams and things like that in her that need to be fixed. Um, I did fix her fingers yesterday to stop them from uh, parting and from tearing. She had a big tear here. And you see I used the silicone glue to fix her there. She had a tear in her face, uh, which I had fixed that here. And she had a tear on the other side of her mouth, which I fixed. She had tears in her toes, and I did fix those yesterday um, because I do want to fix all the things that are going on with her before I begin to paint her. And if you look at her, she's a boo-boo baby. She has lots of bubbles in her, bubbles in her hands and bubbles in her feet. And so I am going to attempt to try to fix those, fix those things before I actually paint her. Um, I see her toes flat here. Yeah. So I'm going to do some fixing on her before I try to paint her. Um, please don't ask where she came from. I won't answer that question. I'll be honest with you. There, you know, there's just some things that I, I say and then there's things that I won't say. Um, and that's one of them that I really don't even want to get into those questions. But yeah, that's a long story. Um, she is a cutie pie though, and I know that she needs some work and stuff like that, but I think that she's going to be okay with me, um, as I go through and try to fix her and as I learn, as I go along and stuff like that. But I'm happy to have her here, um, because I do want to learn a little bit more about, um, the artistry of the silicone babies and things like that. Um, because if I can get into painting silicones, that'll be a whole nother ball game for me. And that is something that I do desire to do. So I am going to try my hand at it and try to do what I can to learn. So yeah. So that is about it. I just wanted to show you guys little Kylie today and show you what she was looking like and what she had on today. Because she has on her little coming home outfit. Um, this little this little outfit I actually bought from... Um, I bought this from City Trends, and then this little hat came from Miss Juanita. And so I thought it was just really, really cute how this hat and this outfit was exactly, 
I mean, what she needed for this outfit. So it's very, very cute. Thank you so much again, Miss Juanita. You know, I definitely appreciate you. I haven't talked to you in a minute, so I'll probably be calling everybody this week. Just to check up on you guys, see how you're doing. Uh, for Laura, I love you. I'm going to call you really soon. Uh, like I said, I've been kind of down and sick. And when I got down and sick, I really didn't go very much because of the fact that I was so sick. And uh, I was supposed to go over to my mom's house, but I ended up not going over there because of the fact that I was sick. And I definitely don't like going over there while I'm sick because I don't want to give my mom anything. But I will be going over there today. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. But I want to tell you guys that I love you. And I'm about to get out of here. And, uh, yeah, I'll be working on some babies. I got some babies to send out today. And I'll be sending you guys confirmation numbers for those babies. Um, and then I'm going to come home and work on um, my my other sister from another mister's baby. And then I got some painting to do today, too. So that's about it. I just want to tell you guys again that I love you. Um, and, of course, I'm always going to offer Jesus Christ to you and say that, you know, if you're not saved, then, you know, you can always... Um, Repent of your sins and move forward. You know what I mean? Turn away from it. Know that Jesus came and died on the cross for the remission of our sins so that we might be saved and redeemed. And um, just turn away from sin. Read your Bible daily. Because God is waiting on you. And He does love us a lot more than what we may possibly even think or comprehend. So again, I want to tell you guys again that I love you so much. And you guys take care. I'm out here. Peace. Two fingers. And that's little Kylia again. Say bye-bye, Kylia. Bye-bye, Kylia. <laughs>